Wait, I hit the wrong thing. All right, so today I'm gonna teach you guys five beginner scooter tricks. First, we're gonna go with the tail whip, 180, bar spin, and 360. Those are all considered beginner tricks. And then after you get those down, you get good at them, start putting them in combos, and then you kind of start learning more advanced tricks. All right, so the tail whip was one of the most basic tricks in the scooter sport. Honestly, there are so many tips and tricks that you could do to learn this trick. First is the flick. The flick I th feel like is the most important part when you're learning a tail whip, just because a lot of people think you have to use your arm so much, which you really don't, where you could just flick your tail around, which is not really hard at all. So the next tip also is you wanna really know what is the bar motion and just the motion of the tail whip. When you're learning the motion of the tail whip, you really just wanna get where you're using your wrists smoothly and not super stiff because if you're always stiff you're gonna mess up your tail whip and you're never gonna get it which if you have very smooth motion of the tail whip you're gonna get it faster number two is the 180 180 half cab is a really really simple trick which the tail whip is actually easier because people make it seem like tail whips are just harder because you're actually like spinning your deck and catching it which is not really harder which a 180 you're actually using more skill so i'll teach you right now wait i hit the wrong thing all right when you're learning the 180 you always want to have your tire as a preload so turning it about 60 degrees that's going to be your preload to doing the 180. once you start going backwards you're going to want to do a backwards 180. It's really simple and a lot of people make it sound really hard, but it's really not. Once you're doing the half cab, you're gonna wanna turn your wheel the other way that it was originally going. So you kick out backwards and you'll originally, your body will tell you to just go back to normal. So the next trick is the bar spin. Bar spin is a super easy trick because all you need to know is the motion and not to push down, but to pull up. Bring your bar 90 degrees and catch it with your other hand. After that, bring your bar another 90 degrees to where the wheel is facing forward again, how you were just riding. Practice that a ton of times and you'll get it in no time. All right, so we're gonna be learning the fakie now. The fakie is probably one of the most useful tricks besides the bunny hop. The fakie really used for a lot of tricks. When you're getting out of a 180, it's perfect because you're actually going backwards and you could do 180 to fakie tail whip, half cab out or 180 tail whip. You could just do so many things with fakie, which it is such an important trick to learn. Because if you don't learn that, you're not going to learn any other tricks. Trust me. So a lot of tips on the fakie is when you're going backwards, when you're trying to catch yourself, when you're turning left, you want to turn right. And when you're turning right, you want to turn left. It's kind of confusing, but you'll get it once in a while. Also, another way is fakie hops. Don't use them a lot, only for practice, because they look really, really bad. Last trick is gonna be the 360. I feel like 360 is the first trick you're really gonna actually try to learn because that's actually what I did. That's what my friend Daniel did when he was learning uh, the 360. That was the first trick he learned. And I feel like a lot of beginners are gonna start with the 360, which is not a bad choice. Tips on the 360 is like the 180, but to preload. The preload is a really, really important part when you're learning the 360. Just because if you don't get that preload, you're gonna not get the spin that you want. You're gonna mess it up a lot also when you're learning the 360 when you're doing the 360 look where you want to go like if you're turning your first 180 when you're right at the 180 area look where you want to land and that will throw you to where the place you're looking at so when you're doing the 180 look to where you're about to land and it'll help you way way more all right so if you enjoyed this video and you want more tutorials just leave a comment down below what video i could do next because literally i have no ideas what i should do that's why i haven't been posting so much but thank you guys so much for watching make sure like and subscribe turn on notifications as usual as everyone says and y'all see you next time